The flow of a liquid through a pipe is characterized by three different flow regimes, laminar, transitional, and turbulent. Laminar flow is generally thought as calm, where the fluid particles flow in an orderly fashion and with relatively low velocity. Turbulent flow is characterized by random movement and intermixing of fluid particles with great exchange of energy throughout the fluid, which is usually happens in higher velocities. To classify pipe flows, we use Reynolds number, a dimensionless parameter that is dependent on the flow velocity, pipe diameter, and fluid's kinematic viscosity. We will confirm the flow classification with visualization of the dye injected from the dye reservoir mounted on the head tank into a steady flow in the pipe. Since in laminar flow, which occurs at Reynolds numbers less than 2000, the flow pattern is not chaotic, the dye streamline should appear to be as a well-defined line. However, at turbulent flows, which occur when Reynolds number is greater than 4000, the dye will be fully mixed throughout the pipe. Transitional flow, which occurs between these two, will also be observed when the streamline appears to wander from a straight line to random shapes. Position the Reynolds apparatus on a fixed surface, ensuring that the area is vibration free. Any vibration would affect the flow regime. Connect the bench outlet to the head tank inlet pipe. Connect the tank overflow to the hydraulic bench volumetric tank. Attach the outlet flow tube to the flow control valve and clamp it to a fixed position in a sink in the lab and allow enough space to insert a measuring cylinder. Start the pump, slightly open the flow control valve, the bench valve, and fill the head tank with water. Make sure that the flow visualization pipe is properly filled. After the water level reaches the overflow tube, adjust the flow valve so that a slight overflow rate is produced. Ensuring that the dye control valve is closed, add dye to the reservoir until it is about two-thirds full. Lower the injector until the tip of the needle is slightly above the bell mouth and centered on its axis. Adjust the bench valve and flow control valve to return the overflow rate to a slow trickle and allow the apparatus to stand for at least five minutes. Adjust the flow control valve to reach a slow trickle outflow. Then adjust the dye control valve until a slow flow with a clear dye indication is achieved. Measure the flow rate and the temperature of the water. Observe the flow patterns, take pictures, or make hand sketches as needed. Increase the flow by opening the flow control valve and repeat the experiment to visualize transitional flow. And then at the highest flow rates, turbulent flow. Try to have two to three observations of each flow regime. Keep your station and any water that may have spilled. Return the remaining dye into the storage container. Rinse the dye reservoir thoroughly to ensure that no dye is left in the valve, injector, and the needle. Following the lab manual, enter the test results into the raw data tables, complete the results table, and put together your lab report.